Holy Wiremod here, and this is going to be tutorial 4C in the Expression 2 series where I'm going to be covering angles, entity, and owner position as well. So let's start by defining a pitch, yaw, and roll, and I'm going to tell you what those are in a second. And then we're going to have um, chip angle, and that's going to be a type angle. And then we're going to have the chips X, Y, and Z position, and we're going to have the owner's X, Y, and Z position. Alright, so let's start out with an interval command, which we're going to refresh this chip every 10 cycles or 10 ticks. Um, and we need to define an angle, or chip angle. Well, an angle is very much so like a vector. It has three components, just like a vector has an x, y, and z related to the actual axis, or the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. An angle has a rotation around the x-axis, the pitch, rotation around the y-axis, the yaw, and rotation around the z-axis, the roll. But we need to actually define what these are. So we're going to take the angles of the Expression 2 chip itself. Um, if you don't know anything about entities, this is your little spoiler right now, the Expression 2 chip is called Entity, and the owner of the chip is called Owner. So, pitch is going to be equal to entity and from that entity I'm going to grab a set of angles and from that ang set of angles I'm going to grab the pitch value and because that's going to be a decimal number I'm going to round that to zero decimal places alright so let's do that same thing for yaw and roll and as you can probably guess it's very similar just need to change the yaw to yaw and roll to roll and the names as well so yaw and roll so now we have a pitch yaw and roll which is associated with this expression 2 chip so let's wire that up and see what it does so we have pitch to pitch yaw to yaw and roll to roll so remember these represent how the chip is rotating or around a certain axis so pitch axis is this direction then we have the yaw direction and then we have a roll which is kind of hard to show you right now this is really weird with the expression to chip but anyway so you get it as I change this the uh, angles are actually changing on the screen right here now we can also get the position of this chip it's very simple very simple watch you'll be like wow holy that's very simple so we'll say chip position is equal to the entities position and yeah, it's, it's literally that simple, and that position command gives you an x, y, and z component, so, because position is of type vector, so, and by the way, let's define that real quick, chip position vector, alright, so we have is equal to chip position, and we'll take the x component of that, and we'll do that for y and z as well. But remember, these are the chips X, Y, and Z, so we're going to put chip X, chip Y, and chip Z. So let's wire that up. So X to X, Y to Y, and Z to Z. And let's round that off. Now you can see why I did that with angle as well. So we'll put round. It's a very useful command. And we'll just do the lazy way right here. And the Y and Z. Awesome. So we should have better looking results. Now, when I move it in the Y direction, it looks like this. In the X direction, it looks like this. And in the Z direction, it looks like this. Alright. And as you can guess, we can also do that for the owner as well. It's just as simple pretty much a copy and paste of this except all I'm doing is changing entity to owner 
So I'll put owner position. Owner position. And that's of type vector as well. So do this, copy and paste that there and say that owner x is equal to that, owner y is equal to that, and owner z is equal to that. And now, when I wire that up, owner x, owner y, and owner z. So now it shows me moving around. When I jump, my z uh, decreases, but when I crouch it does nothing because it's actually um, looking at the position of my feet, and that's very important for later videos. But that covers everything that you need to know. Um, also, if you want to uh, use something called a debugger and you don't want to put all these screens up, you can do that because these are all outputs and inputs. Um, it shows you all the data that you see my owner position is moving. When I do stuff to the chip, you'll see all, all the values moving now. Uh, but yeah, that's going to uh, conclude this video and I'll be getting into Apply Force next video. I'll see you then.